The purpose of this video is to show you in detail that whether simple main effect analyses are significant or not have no impact on whether a statistically significant interaction is observed. As I mentioned in the textbook, always focus on the interaction effect reported in the ANOVA table. Do not feel compelled to observe one significant simple main effect and one non-significant simple main effect to show that an interaction occurred. You can have any combination of simple main effect analyses, significant, non-significant, some significant, some non-significant, and you can still have a significant interaction. So in this figure, just a couple of points, SME stands for simple main effect. And so I've got four different analyses where life satisfaction is evaluated from the perspective of people who have children and people who do not. This is, these are couples and couples who work inside the house, both of them, or they both work outside the house. So it's a two by two factorial design. I've just simulated data. This isn't based on a real study. I don't have a strong opinion one way or the other on this. I've just simulated data to depict the effect that I want with respect to simple main effects having nothing to do with the interaction. So let's just scroll in a bit closer here to see the first panel. So panel A has shown a significant interaction. And so the magnitude of the effect of having children on life satisfaction appears to be impacted or moderated by whether the parents work outside the house, both work outside the house or not. And we can see here in this case, life satisfaction is lower when there's no children and they do not both work outside the house. So someone's staying at home. And this is the life satisfaction level for that group. But when they both work outside the house and they don't have children, their life satisfaction is higher. And if you look on this side, it's the total opposite. When they do have children and they both work outside the house, their life satisfaction is actually a bit lower than when they, when they don't both work outside the house. So it's literally the flip side of each other. So obviously the impact on life satisfaction with respect to whether you have children or not is moderated or is interacting with whether they work outside the house. Now when you look at the simple main effect analyses and especially like this one, this example panel A, because none of the simple main effect analyses are statistically significant. So if you test this mean here this perp dark mean here, both work outside the house, no, and they don't have children. If you test that different mean versus this mean, it won't be significant. And if you test the difference between this mean and this mean, it is not significant. And if you test the difference between this mean and that mean, it is not statistically significant. None of the simple main effects are statistically significant, and yet there's an interaction. Can you interpret the interaction? Yes. What you're saying is that the, what you can say is that the impact of having children on life satisfaction is moderated by whether the parents both work outside the house or not. That's what you can say. Now to show with numbers that this is what comes out, here is me doing the analysis. I've got, this is for panel A. And I'm going to analyze these data, general linear model, univariate. I'm going to put life satisfaction in here. Children, my two independent variables in the fixed factors. And options, maybe effect size, descriptives, doesn't really matter. I'm not interested in that. And then I'm going to click on estimated marginal means because I want to get the simple main effect analyses. Click continue and click paste because I need to add that extra bit compare I compare children which is going to test whether you have children or not isolated at both work outside the house and then isolated at not both working outside the house so those are the simple main effect analyses and then I could do the flip side of that by copying and pasting and then just changing this 
to work outside the house. Work outside. So now it's going to test the difference between life satisfaction for couples that work outside the house, both of them, and not both of them working outside the house. Isolated at the group that has children, and then isolated for those that do not have children. So those are the simple main effects. Run all. Here's the interaction effect. Children by work outside, F4.173 and a p-value of 0 0.047. And here's the, here are those results here. Now here are the simple main effects. Simple main effects, pairwise comparisons is what SPSS calls it. So here I'm isolating at not working outside the house. So one of them works outside the house and one of them doesn't, something like that. And we have no children versus yes children and we get a p-value of 0.118, so it's not significant. So if you, have, if you do not have children, and you do have children, and you isolate at not working outside the house, both of them, you do not get a significant effect. But then when you move to the group that, yes, they both work outside the house, no children versus yes children, it's still not statistically significant. So there's no difference between the means no children, yes children, no children, yes children, both working outside the house, yes. So this mean here and this mean here. There's no significant difference there. That's what that test is. No children, yes children, yes working outside the house. This mean, this mean, not significantly different. 0 0.203. And that's why I wrote here 0 0.203. Now the other one is no children, yes children, they're, and both not working outside the house, 0.118. So that's the difference between this one here, both working outside the house, no, not working outside the house, so it's the dark blue, no, and no children, yes children, and this is not statistically significant difference. So that simple main effect that I just showed you is testing this versus this and this versus this. It wasn't significant. Now what if I looked at this difference here and this difference here? Well, that's also not significantly different. That is shown here. So no children, so that's isolating here. No children, and it's going to show the difference between working outside the house and not. No children not working outside the house, both of them, and yes, working outside the house, both of them, 0.118. So this difference here is not statistically significant. And what about this one here? And, well, we get a p-value of 0 0.203. Yes, children. Yes, children. So we're isolating over here, and then we're going to compare these two means, not working outside the house and yes, working outside the house and it's not statistically significant. Not working outside the house, yes, working outside the house, 0 0.203, not significant. So we have a significant interaction, and yet, no matter how you try to compare with simple main effects, none of them are significant. Does this mean that there's no interaction? Yes, there is an interaction. It just means that whether simple main effect analyses are significant or not has no bearing on the interaction, because you can have it every which way you can think of. You can have all the simple main effect analyses significant or none of them significant. So let's look at the all significant example. So this is here. The data look very similar. The, the interaction is a bit more significant. 12.76 p equal 0 0.001. So that's for panel D. And if you look at all these simple main effect analyses, they are all statistically significant. So if you compare this mean against that mean, it's statistically significant. If you compare this mean against this mean, it's significant. If you compare this mean against this mean, it's significant. And if you compare this mean against this mean, it's significant. Again, I'll just show you quickly with those data. That's panel D, B. Here we go. So let's analyze that. General linear model, univariate. Put the dependent in here. Children, 
fixed factors and estimate marginal means, put the interaction in there, and then continue, and then paste, and then I just have to add the compare bit. I don't have to put any adjustment here because there are only two levels in each independent variable. So children, and I'll just copy and paste, and then I'll do the simple main effects the other way, which is isolating across the other independent variable, work outside. So let's just run that syntax, run that selection, and what do I get? I get that F value 12.759. So here we have 12.76, P less P equal 0 0.001. So it's a significant interaction. And then when I isolate at no work outside, not working outside, not both of them, so we're isolating at the dark blues, and that effect is statistically significant. No children, yes children. So this mean versus this mean is statistic. There's a sti significant difference. And then if I keep going, yes work outside, isolated. Compare no children, yes children. So light blues, and the difference between that is statistically significant for a p-value of 0 0.020. And that's where I got this here. Now what about comparing no children versus, I should say, what about isolating at no children and comparing both working outside the house versus not? That's the next table down. And we can see the couples do not have children, and they don't work outside the house, and yes, they both work outside the house p equal 0 0.008. So this difference here is statistically significant, this simple main effect. And that's where I got this 0 0.08 here. And then when I compare these two groups, well, those are also significant based on the simple main effect. Yes, children don't work outside the house mean versus yes, they both work at outside the house mean, 0 0.027. And this is significant. So again, and the, the last ones, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with panel B. Basically with panel B, one of the simple main effect analyses is statistically significant. So this one here is significant, but this one here is not. Comparing these two means, not significant, but these two are significant. And then these two means are significant, but these two means are not significant. You can get every combination possible, basically, is what I put in this figure. And so again, the take home message is that the interaction is best evaluated with the interaction F value. Now you can take things further with in interaction contrast analyses if you wanted, and I don't show that in this section of the book, but the ultimate message is that simple main effect analyses, despite the frequency with which you see them reported in manuscripts and PhD theses, etc., really have nothing to do with the interaction. Instead, as I advocate in the book, you should conduct simple main effect analyses to help you potentially interpret a main effect, not an interaction effect. I mean, it's in the name, simple main effects. It's not simple interaction effects, right? So I hope that can put to rest in your own mind that simple main effects have nothing to do with the interpreting the interaction.